Well, let me tell you something, brother. We got something wrong with WWE 2K. What is up, Dill Nation? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, I am Dill Lasagna. And if you've seen in the intro of that weird um, Hulk Hogan impersonation, this is a video about WWE 2K18 and the entire W2K series and its games as a whole. So, I'm just disappointed where the WWE gaming series is going, the direction it's going, to the point where I just went with NBA 2K18 this year. And maybe that's the direction I may be heading in the near future because of how the WWE series is not really going to improve in the near future. But I can I can help. Maybe 2K you're maybe watching this video and are looking for suggestions on how to improve your series, but I don't know, you might not take it seriously or just like, "Oh, he's just mad. He's just salty." But I'm act I'm not I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying, I want to help you improve on your future games so you can get people like me to get back into the series. So, these are some, some, some suggestions on how to get the WWE Gaming series back to its prime, like in the early days. So, without any further ado, let's do this! One of the problems with the WWE Gaming series that I've noticed not in just 2K18 or in 2K17 or like even pat like starting with 2K15 it's like 2K has started to focus on graphics more than gameplay and not I know some people prefer graphics over gameplay to me that's a problem it's like I don't I don't really care about how nice a game looks I mean yeah the game looks nice, but I want to enjoy it. Yes, we're in 2017, and yeah, we're our expectations for gaming are still this high, and we want a game to look good. But at the same time, you want a game that wants to run extremely, extremely just as good as the graphics. I'm I'm disappointed with how 2K is handling this. So I feel like. Oh, this is the most realistic game of the most realistic WWE experience of all time. They say that every year, but the gameplay fails to deliver because they make it the gameplay realistic as well to the point where it's just so boring. And 2K16 was kind of an exception along with 2K15 because they're still they were still like kind of adjusting to the new the new consoles like PS4 and Xbox One, but 2K17 became so boring that it glitched. There were so many glitches in 2K17 and in 2K18. That's why I didn't get 2K18. When I was watching 2K18 like videos on YouTube, it's so bad. It was so bad. It's like they focus so much on graphics, like. They didn't bother to fix the gameplay. My suggestion is to make, like, continue to focus on the graphics. That's nice. Like, you can make it as realistic as you want. But just make the gameplay feel fun again. It's like, yes, you could continue to make it feel like an actual WWE match, but make it feel fun. Make it feel like the SmackDown vs. Raw days, where it's, like, fast, fast paced. Not like this slow. What is this? What is this garbage type pace? And I don't know what they're doing, what 2K is doing. So I hope I hope they improve in the gameplay department. They fix all these bugs and these patch and these glitches in future game in these future games. And yeah. Just lean more heavily on the gameplay and just continue to don't like Focus heavily on the graphics. Yeah, another problem with the WWE 2K series is the My Career Mode. And this My Career Mode was, of course, in response 
of 2K transitioning from TH or WWE transitioning from THQ to 2K Sports, and yeah, they of course 2K had to implement their own My Career Mode to and from NBA 2K's My Career Mode. <laughs> so it's like NBA 2 their whoever is developing um, WWE 2K, I think it's Ukes and Visual Concepts. I think they're splitting the load, or I don't know how it works. They're basically like they have their own vision. I, f I feel like it's like Ukes is doing micro mode, and then for WWE 2K, and then Visual Concepts is doing micro mode for NBA 2K. So you have like two completely different visions right there. It's like I I played a little bit of micro mode in NBA 2K18. And I can tell you, it's so much better than the My Career videos that I've seen in WWE 2K18 and the My Career modes that I've played in past in past games. I, I feel like it's not capturing like the actual WWE experience. I mean, they come up with like new ideas each year, but it's just not living up to the hype. So. Maybe they'll give it another run in 2K19, but if it fails again, then I think you should just throw it all away and go back to the roots of Road to WrestleMania mode, because that was a mode that everyone liked, a, stor a true story mode. Like, sure, it doesn't feel as real to the, as to the WWE experience, but it was a game mode that everyone enjoyed, a good story, and it's just so fun to play. Or maybe you go back even further with a year-long season, a year or two long season mode, with an actual story. Sure, you may not get all the um, wrestlers to voice act their lines, but do do like what you did with 2K18 with the um, those um, voice like those voice lines, but make it realistic. Don't not those lines where if it sounds the wrestler sounds dumb. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see a season mode in um, a future like 2K in the future 2K game. But other than that, I don't know about the future of my career in, d in a WWE game. It's just disappointing. When I want to select a match in in like exhibition, half of the match types are exactly the same thing. It's like. When I first played, like, back in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, there were a, a variety of match types. There were, of course, you had the normal match, then there was Hell in a Cell, then there was the the title matches, then there was Hell, there was Buried Alive. But now, in the 2K games, you have almost exactly the same thing. You have, you still have this Hell in a Cell match, you have the Steel Cage, but then you, you get down, you get searching real deep. Then you have false count anywhere, you have no holds barred, you have extreme rules. Those three are exactly the same thing. The only difference is with the only difference between false count anywhere and no holds barred and extreme rules is like in extreme rules you can select you have a variety of weapons to select and you have to pin your opponent in the ring. Same thing with no holds barred. Huh. It's the exact same match type. What are you doing? What are you doing, 2K? I feel like you use it, you, those spaces can be filled up with match types people want to see. Even though, yes, you're doing what's best for business and including match types are exactly the same. People want to see matches like, yes, that are, even though they're not seen in WWE anymore, you can still put them in the game for, for goodness sake. Include three stages of hell. Include buried alive. And even include the ambulance match. That was in. That was in WWE in 2017. And maybe in, even include like war games if you could try to fit it in there. But overall, just don't take up like space in the game for match types. They're exactly the same thing. For goodness, like we want variety match various match types, not the exact same thing that that sound different. But other than that, 
I just want various match types. This problem I have with the WWE Gaming series is has also become recent with like the match types, and it's been going on since WWE 13, I think. And that's this is in regards to the roster. Have have you noticed when you play like WWE 13, 14, and beyond, even in WWE 2K 18, the half of the roster is the exact same person except is a different era of that person there are even two Finn Balors in that game what are you kidding me it's like you couldn't even put what, what's her name I, I don't know it's like I haven't watched WWE that long so <laughs> yeah but anyway you, you get my point though you get my point it's like you have, like, I think there are a record of five stings in WWE 2K18. There were still two two rocks in that game. There were two canes, or I think there were, wait, were there two or three canes in that game? But that's insane. Those spots could have been filled with either, like, actual unique legends or new and act new and current superstars. No. Instead, you decided to put in like wrestlers of the same that are the same but are different versions of themselves. You know what you could do, 2K? Put those five things or like cut those things in half and make them alternate attires. I mean, yes, yeah, Surfer Sting is unique. You could keep them the same. Um, Crow Sting is unique. Like, yeah. Those two set versions could be like separate, but five things. No, cut them in half. It's like you don't need five things in the game. No, make them alternate attires. Unless if it's a like a unique persona, like the three faces of Wooly or the American like BA version of the Undertaker. Or in the no, don't. It's like fill those spots up for for the current wrestlers that are already on the roster or just made their debut it's like we don't need the same exact wrestler on the roster unless if it's like a unique version five things are, is not unique this one's like a small one it's not it's kind of a problem but it's also like a positive too and that's just to continue reintroducing some of the creation features I I really liked how Dirty 2k 18 is slowly continuing to reintroduce like some minor features in the creation suite like introducing more options in the create arena create a show custom create a championship um, I feel like 2k19 can put back in the create a story but then for some reason you already have WWE universe but then at the same time I'm contradicting myself again <laughs> You don't have like the, you don't have a feel of making your own story in universe mode. So I feel like with Create a Story, which was introduced back in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, you could feel like it's your own like WWE again. So I feel like with Create a Story, that would be a really nice way to get fans back into the WWE gaming series. Speaking of universe mode, I feel like it's just there. It's 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 feel like it's just a placeholder mode for like an actual like story mode. My career is not a story mode, okay? I feel like universe mode is just there to make your own like I don't know. It's just like a watered down version of create a story. It's just like oh, make your own like universe. Oh, do your own stories. Make your own rivalries. That that's it. It's, it doesn't feel like you're actually doing anything in universe mode. Um, and I feel like what I would do to fix that problem is to not like erase it entirely, but make it feel like general manager mode from when it was, from SmackDown Raw 2006 all from 2008. Make it feel like general manager mode. Assign a draft, like you get picked a show, and then you get to draft superstars. Then at the you get to 
battle between Raw and SmackDown. If you get you know, Raw and SmackDown battle between each brand and continue to make your show the better brand. And then, yeah, at the end of the year, get the General Manager of the Year Award. And it's like, that was one of my favorite game modes, even though I kind of sucked at it. <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing. But it was just a fun game mode to do. And it was, it was just a popular one among the WD gaming community. So, you don't have, like, 2K doesn't have to take out the universe mode entirely. They could just, like, tweak it a little bit and, like, make it feel like the old general manager mode. This next problem is in regards to my Nintendo Switch. If you guys don't know already yet, WD2K18 was released on the Nintendo Switch, I think, a couple weeks ago. But they first announced it back in July. And when I first heard the announcement back in July, I was excited. I was really excited to play WD again on the go since SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. And when I first saw the gameplay of it, boy, did my perspective change a whole lot. And when I and then when I first saw it on the PS4 and Xbox One, even with the patches that were released later on, that changed as well. So, that was one of the reasons why I decided to get NBA 2K18 on the Nintendo Switch. And, yeah, they released patches, but, like, I think a week ago. But, it, nothing has honestly changed, really. Entrances are slow. They're, it's like you're moonwalking on the moon, like Michael Jackson. Um, gameplay is just so bad. It's like, what is this? It's like, you completely rush this out when it's not ready. And I heard a rumor that's going around that two, WWE was mad at 2K and Blind Squirrel, the apparent like developer that's responsible for porting over WWE 2K on the Switch. And, they were mad because they wanted this to release on Black Friday, but they weren't the 2K and Blind Squirrel weren't ready to put it out, and that's why we got the sudden like December 6th release, I believe, the Wednesday release, two days after they were announced that WWE 2K on the Switch was going to be released. Oh, oh boy. I mean, I think it's both parties' fault because they announced this game like six months. When, or I think it was like four months. No, no, no. When is October? I, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> three months. There we go. Three months when PS4 and Xbox One and PC development was nearly complete. And then somehow, some way, this was released on day one digitally. And yes, I know. This was released physically because I like my games physical. And yeah, it's not per NBA 2K18 is not perfect, but with patches, it runs so well now. It it just runs so much better. It it doesn't have like the 30 frame, the 60 frames per second, or the same graphics as PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But it has like it runs so just as good like gameplay wise. WWE 2K18 from the videos I've seen on YouTube, <laughs> heck no. I don't even need to get my hands on that thing to to convince me otherwise. It's just so bad on there. I've seen people play Elimination Chamber. I've seen play, people play Hell in a Cell. Even the Royal Rumble, it lags. So many lags, glitches. Even, well, I mean, graphics are not that bad, honestly. I don't care about graphics anyway. But... That was just the ultimate slap in the face to everyone expecting this game to be. Well, I mean, of course it was going to be a downgrade, but at least a playable WWE game on the Nintendo Switch. And I don't want to rant on this a lot longer, but WWE, 2K, and whoever helps develop and port this game over to the Nintendo Switch, if they even do it for 2K19 next year, you got a full year now to put this on the Nintendo Switch. And if you do the same job that you did for the Nintendo Switch that you did for 2K18, then there's no way in heck that people are gonna buy this. And I feel like 
you guys are going to be the one that are going to be blaming the fans for the lack of sales and for the bad performance that's going to be on the Nintendo Switch and that you feel you guys are going to be the be blaming people for the, as the reason why there's going to be no 2K20 or even a 2K19 for on the Nintendo Switch. Shame on you guys. Shame on 2 WWE. Shame on you WWE. Well, actually more shame on 2K and more shame on whoever helped the port over the Nintendo Switch version of WWE 2K. So, if you port over this game for 2K19 or even beyond, no excuses anymore. You've had you had a chance for the for this mess of WWE 2K18 on the Switch. So, if you do it, no excuses. And my last issue regarding the WWE 2K series is the lack of a third game mode. And you, we have universe mode. We have the s technical story mode that is my career. But there's no actual like third mode in the game. There's usually a third mode in the game. This year was Road to Glory. But I don't really count that as a third mode because it relies so heavily on like pe playing people online, and I'm not much of an on playing people oh. <laughs> playing with people online because one, I don't have an online like subscription because I, I don't have that much money, <laughs> and two. The online servers are just bad for 2K. It's just bad. Plus, Road to Glory was implemented with the My Career mode. It's why. It's like, why did they do that? And they included loot boxes too. It's like, we already had the controversy with Star Wars Battlefront. It's like, why did they include loot boxes in there? And that's like a signaling we might even get micro microtransactions in 2K19. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with 2K. But, I don't know. Maybe they might add an actual third mode into the game. I'm, I want to see something like what we saw in 2K14. Like, defeat the, like the streak mode. Remember the, the streak mode from WWE 2K14? Like, the defeat the streak mode, defend the streak mode. That was like a fun gameplay to do because I, always, I would always use my creative character to try to defeat the Undertaker and I remember failing until I finally beat him and then I think there was another one the PS3 version of 2K15 where you had to defeat John Cena with the uh, NXT Superstar that was that was also cool too so maybe like you no know, hopefully they add a third like actual game mode that people will actually do that's not online heavy so hopefully we get to see that in the near future. Anyway, donation, that's gonna do it all for this not really rant against WWE 2K18. This, again, this was in no way to hate on the WWE 2K gaming series as a whole. I, I just want to see, like, this series thrive, because I, I love wrestling. I, I, I really love playing, like, wrestling games. It's just, like, unfortunate that 2K and like the dub and WWE, like take this take this lightly. I mean, 2K is like helping develop NBA, and they're doing so much better. And I don't know why they can't do the same with WWE. So I hope, like 2K, if you're watching this, you at least take some of these suggestions into consideration. I mean, yes. I know you always do what's best for business, but at least take this with some sort of like consideration. I don't know, but but yeah, that's all. That's all. Bleh. I can't form sentences today. That's gonna do it all for this video donation. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap the bell for notifications, especially for those of you that are new. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links will be in the description as well. And like, comment, share, subscribe. And always be delicious. And oh yeah, also don't forget to leave your suggestions on what w like, the WWE 2K series could use. 
to improve in the near future so we can get back so we can get back into the WWE gaming universe all right donation I'll see you guys next time